Okay, guys, unfortunately, the investing platform called Mainvest, they're shutting down, closing business, and I'm going to give you guys all the updates as of May 29th, 2024. If you're not familiar with Mainvest, Mainvest allowed you to invest in small businesses by providing them loans, and then they'll end up paying you back based off of how much Reddit revenue that they got. So the faster, the more revenue they got, the faster you got paid back. Now, unfortunately, they did go out of business, and I'm going to have to, you know, send tell, talk about the emails and stuff that happened. Um, I think I had Mainvest maybe for like three or four years. I really did like the particular platform simply because they did give you the opportunity to provide loans for small businesses and you could have um, they had like a lot in the area that you could have actually went to and go see the business owners and stuff like that um, unfortunately that was the case but let me not uh, waste no more time May 14th we received this urgent main vest season operations June 14th it said dear oops, let me, dear main vest community we regret to announce that Mainvest will cease operations on June 14, 2024. I'm going to kind of skip down to here. It says, unfortunately, after exploring all available alternative, a mix of internal and external factors has led to this difficult decision to cease operations and dissolve the company. You know, they end up expressing the closures heavy loss, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but here it is. It says, action required. You will be receiving a notice shortly regarding the closure of your Constolia accounts of June 12th. And by the way, I'll kind of keep you guys updated because it seems like a lot of stuff is going to happen in a very short period of time. At which point, in, any remaining funds in your account will be sent to the address on file. It says, please ensure that your address on file is accurate and or that all withdrawals from your main vest wallet are completed before June 12th, as of June 12th. So initially they said, hey, um, the platform as of, you know, June 12th, like everything's kind of shutting down. So, you know, if you have money, you know, make sure um, you withdraw it or, and they're saying that, oh, please ensure that your address on file so that they would end up potentially even um, sending you the remaining funds. So if you could withdraw it, like at that point, you could have tried, but that may have been problems. So once we've seen this, and it says your full portfolio and transaction data will be emailed to you to your address on file of June 14, 2024. It says after June 14, 2024, the issue of your your revenue share agreement is solely responsible for processing its repayments in accordance with the terms of your note. The closure of Mainvest does not affect issuers' obligations to repay you. So this is a very, this price situation is going to get very messy. So they're saying they're closing down, but the issuer still has the obligation, which means the person that provides the loan is supposed to still pay you back. So the contract is still on. This could be very messy, and I don't even know how this is going to work and how this so this is um that's really unfortunate and it seems like it's going to be a lot of um confusion confusion definitely definitely um for sure and they also has if you have questions we request that you review the support hub they give you the link there you know blah 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 your investors they even let you know that your investors dashboard and custodial accounts will remain fully accessible until june 14th so after june 14th that whole site is particularly you're not going to be able to go to the site and see what you own and all that stuff it says no new campaigns will be launched on the site of course obviously because they're shutting down and it says which current offerings able to re return funds or complete their rounds so that's what we first got May 14th. Now, on May 16th, they express, hey, um, urgent update regarding main rest ACH processing. So Cinex, it says in this one, this was the most um, concerning. So this one, they're letting you know that, hey, um, our service providers that processed our uh, to withdraw funds, return, repayment, 
there has been a discrepancy. Um, it says we are experiencing a disruption that is impacting most transactions on the site, including withdrawal investments, um, yeah, investments, refunds, and repayments. So that's pretty much like they're kind of freezing all particular money on that particular platform. And it says, given this urgency of users to withdraw, given the urgency of users to withdraw funds and transaction as we wind down operation we find this disruption of service completely unacceptable so it says we have already reached out to Synex so Synex is the it has something to do with Synex and Evolve Bank so Synex I believe is the like the um I'm um, less like a similar, I guess they were kind of similar function like a PayPal and Evolve Bank is actually the bank. So Sinister and Evolve, they work together t in order to help um, Mainvest transactions kind of go through. Um, and apparently there's a big problem with this. Now they don't actually say what the particular problem is, but from my experience, whenever they start freezing accounts, it could mean that's um, bankruptcy. A lot of times that's not all the times, but when they start freezing accounts and stuff like that and they talk about issues, you know, all it's already expressed before that they're gonna have to shut down. So that's pretty much like a good indication of what that can mean. And the next email will confirm that. It says given this urgency of users to withdraw funds and process transaction completely unacceptable, they let you know that it happened to not only Mainvest, um, but also other Cinex clients, millions of Cinex clients, and we're not giving, we were not giving prior notice of options before services was disrupted, um, and things of that. And this was um, May 16th. So you know, and they said, here's what we understand: Evolved Bank has frozen activities related to Cinex out banking service partners such as transfers and withdrawals affecting over a hundred customers and then it says your custodian account which are FDIC insured FBI account may have been frozen and then it says we and many other Synex clients has already contacted regulators urging them to provide us with more information to unfreeze the activity here's what we don't know when involved will unfreeze activity when the decision to freeze activity was made and what exactly is in the dispute between Evolve and Cinex. And so that was the thing. So then after that, we received on the 21st, it lets us know main vest closure update regarding Cinex and Evolve dispute. So they're giving us an update. It says we are writing to provide an update with more context, blah, blah, blah. Evolve this situation has resulted in the frozen funds of 10 million users. And it ended up letting you know we announced our pending closure last Tuesday after two weeks of deliberation. You know, blah, blah, blah. And as we explained, with many factors contributed to our decision to close the uncertainty surrounding Cinex bankruptcy was a key catalyst, I called it. Um, Senator's bankruptcy was a key catalyst. To say that was devastating news. They mentioned that he poured six years of his life, you know, blah, blah, blah. Despite, <coughs> it said, you know, despite having the assurance from Senex leadership team that we'd be serviced up until the end of 2024, it, this dispute between Evolve Bank and Senex is playing out in real time. It says to put the scope of perspective to put the scope of Cinex slash Evolve issue perspective, Mainvest represents 0.2% of all users, customers affected. So Mainvest is a very small partner in this. So I'm hopefully people will be able to give their money. Um, I've done a few videos on and even had a um, affiliate link in there. So I definitely wanted to um, let my viewers know that you know this actually happened very unfortunate um, it says given the scale of this problem there's a immersed pressure from not only main vest but hundreds of others blah 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 and then they give you a list of the particular events and <laughs> let's scroll down to the last um, it says former cynics employees appear to have contacted judge bearish warning that a wind down plan is not properly intimate 
implement it, but we cannot determine the availability of these statements. Um, it says the Federal Reserve has stated that they are not getting involved because while accounts of Evolved Bank are FDIC assured, the FDI, the Federal Reserve would only get involved in case of a bank failure, which is not occurring. So it's a, it's a mess here. Now, I'll go to, you know, the platform. So as of now, it's still up, but um, June 14th is when all of this is supposed to, you know, shut down. So they show you all of um, this, but um, as of, I believe, June, was either June 12th, probably around June, they said June 14th, but I wouldn't be surprised if it, it, it actually gets shut down um, before then. So it shows you, I particularly had, as you can see here, um, 300 I had $300 invested. I had $41 in cash as well. One of my um, companies, OY, they had already went bankrupt anyway. Um, another one, I think they was a marijuana delivery. They was kind of missing payments. I think they missed the the last two payments or um, something like that. And let's let me go to home to see how many. Um, yeah, so I have forty one dollars and twenty cents and three hundred um, dollars. Um, this is really uh, unfortunate that this particular happened. This also, I want to say, as far as another investment platform I did with vacation rentals called Here, they were closing down and I'm still trying to. I think I had a hundred dollars in this one. I mean, a hundred dollars in that one. You can check the suggested videos, but I'll definitely um keep you updated on this. And I definitely wanted to do a video because I did do. Um, a lot of videos on this particular platform. Well, maybe at least I do a lot of ones on a different investing platform. But I mean, it's just kind of unfortunate that that situation um, happens. And as far as how they're going to do this with Mainvest, since Mainvest was the middle person that um, between the people, the small business owners, and the investor. This whole situation, who's going to organize this, who's going to maintain this, how you're going to get the money, I can foresee that it's going to be a hot mess. And I'm actually, since Mainvest is not going because they were the key player, the organizer, I'm not actually sure if the agreements or payments will hold up. I mean, I guess you could take it like legal action and stuff, but the way this is going. A lot of this stuff was kind of issued by Mainvest, so not unless you were planning on taking it to court. I mean, you can um, reach out to, um, and what I'll, what I'll do to, I mean, I don't have that much money into it. Um, but what I will do is I'll reach out to the, um, our, uh, the support hub and the business owners to see, you know, w what are their particular plans. But unfortunately, like I said, this is a very unfortunate situation. Um, I normally, I make sure I do videos like this so that you can understand okay, whenever you make particular investments, there's always a, t a type of risk that you can encounter. And bankruptcy, companies going out of business, mismanaged of funds is very uh, well possible. So I want to make sure that I update you as far as my investing platforms. I very transparent um, of everything. And if you have this particular um, platform, you have any other um, questions about the situation or you want me to give you more updates, just drop it um, in the comments below. But yeah, so with investing, I like to show you the good and the bad. And that's why I also like to post, I want to say weekly updates of, well, not necessarily weekly updates. I like to give you guys, um, show you guys these platforms in my experience over a longer period of time. Because with time, we'll kind of tell. And that's why I keep giving you guys updates about um, things like this. So I'll give you, that's what we know um, so far, um, I'll give you an update as soon as new information comes. Um, but that concludes this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, out.